Hey, what's up, Improvement Warrior? Jason Yun, back with you again. Happy Sunday morning to you, or whenever you're watching this. Hope you're having a fabulous day. Today I wanted to make a video going over the sweat, uh, sit, squat, hold test. I made a video several years ago going over this because uh, it was one of our assessments of trying to build up to 10 minutes. What's up, Doug? How you doing? So I'm trying to build up to 10 minutes on this test, but basically every morning when I go do my morning sun, I'm in this position and sitting in it for as long as I can. So this morning was actually 20 minutes. Um, but let me show you the actual position and talk to you why it's so important and why mobility is important and all that. So normally it's not on a milk crate, but I couldn't get the computer low enough to demonstrate, and normally you would be hip width or shoulder width, so I'm a little closer than I usually am. And then basically just squat down, and you just hold this position. So you will try to drive your knees out as far as you can. You want to try and keep your feet relatively straight. Okay? If they shoot out further than like 6 or 12 degrees, it's an indication that uh, you got ankle issues. Thank you for the thumbs up, appreciate it. And basically you just sit in this position and you try and build up to 10 minutes, okay, or longer. But some people, they can't even get down into this position because of certain certain mobility issues and, and whatnot from there. So a lot of Coaches and trainers, they'll say you never go below parallel on a squat. Uh, and then other trainers and coaches, they'll say go as low as you can, ATG, ass to grass. Okay? Because anytime you do go parallel or below parallel, parallel or below on a squat or like a lunge, you're bringing, bringing more of your posterior chain, your, uh, your butt and your hamstrings into play. So I as always say go as low as you can, but some people can't get down to that position. But if you do sit too long, then that's going to turn off the butt. It's going to turn off the hamstring, and you can't turn those muscles off. And it's going to affect the hips. It'll affect the ankles. It'll affect. Um, so that's a just a mobility test, the squat hold test. And if you're just joining, I'll just I'll stay in this position and go from there. So it's a mobility test, basically. And if you do lose your mobility, so if you don't use it, you will lose it. And if you lose your mobility, you will lose your balance, you'll lose your coordination, you'll lose your strength, and eventually that just keeps snowballing, and eventually you'll lose your energy, you don't have strength, you don't have energy to do anything, and then a disease will hit you. And that's not what we want. So, what's up, Teresa? What's up, Jennifer? How you guys doing? So basically you just go in this position, you try to hold it as long as you can. Now, there's certain things, There's uh, if you can't get in this position, then we've got some work to do. Um, the couch stretch is one of the main exercises that I recommend. Um, I'll post a link down below, but doing that pretty much every day, two minutes or above, is two to five minutes each leg, that will really, really help you in terms of uh, the hip extension, okay? So if you don't have hip extension or hip flexion, you can't get into this position. And if you've got certain issues, then we need to fix those. So there's all kinds of mobilizations that I recommend. You can search hashtag mobilization with Yun. That will bring up certain things or certain exercises, movement stretches that you can do. Uh, if you can't even squat below that, then that's an issue. I would recommend getting some resistance bands and you get down on the floor, you wrap it around your legs, pull yourself, hamstring stretch, quad stretch, all that stuff. Because if you do lose your mobility, then that is going to be a major issue and um, pain will usually ensue because if you don't use your body, then your body will break down. This is the only body you are going to get. So use it or lose it. I'll post the other uh, other video I did on this topic, the 10-minute squat hold. 
and uh, it is also in mobilizations and mobility and rest, recovery, regeneration is what it falls under, but it's number 11 on my 13 pillars of health uh, list. So I did a webinar on that. I will link that up as well. If you have not watched that, watch it because it is super important. If you are just sitting here and you're focused on your nutrition and your fitness and you think that is going to get you to the ultimate health, then you are wrong, my friend, because it's they make up a small portion of it, but there's 11 other or yeah, 11 other things that could be affecting your health. Okay. What's up, Jerome? How you doing? So I'll link all that stuff up. Let me know how you like this video and what you want to see in the future. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. And I'll see you next time. Till then, have a great day. Stay strong. Stay positive. Be the improvement warrior. Work on your mobility every day.